Welcome back to FMN Radio Science Tuesday. We are here with Dr. Jill Christofferson. She has been researching DNA transcription, translation, and replication. Thank you, Norman. Ever since dinosaurs walked the earth, transcription, translation, and replication has taken place. Let's start with transcription. Transcription is the process of messenger R. N. A copying gene and base pair information from D. N. A strands. For this to happen, the DNA strand unwinds and lets the RNA copy the information because it is a vital process in the production of proteins. It is a little bit like copying a message and spreading through everywhere, like the Connie 2012 video. This whole process begins at the promoter, a place near an enzyme called RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase starts the copying of genetic information. That's very interesting. What happens after transcription? Translation follows transcription. During translation, RNA travels from the nucleus to the cytoplasm for protein synthesis. Then, the ribosomes translate the DNA information into the language of nucleic acids. This needs to happen in order for the organelles to produce proteins. Translation is done in three stages. Initiation, elongation, and termination. It starts as the ribosome attaches itself to the monomethylated cap. After that, it moves to the codons. The terna attaches itself to the first codon and uses its own anti codon to translate. Next, the large part of the ribosome encloses the terna to the codon. Translation is just how it sounds, like a Chinese man translating for an American man. That's remarkable. Then, replication occurs. When, DNA replicates, its strands are separated by the helicase. Next, proteins keep the DNA from rebinding. Then a new strand is formed. This strand attaches from the 5' prime to the 3'. Prime. Then an RNA premise lays out an RNA primer. Then, DNA polymerase 3 lays out new DNA. Once it is done, the replication process is complete. Replication is like imprinting thousands of dollar bills.